Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to your tarot reading. How do they feel about you? Um, we'll be looking at your person's energy, their thoughts and feelings, and what the tarot can reveal about what's going on with them um, internally. So this can be to the cross watchers watching as well, uh, if you're dealing with an air sign. So let's have a look at the overall energy of how this person is feeling. Okay, the Two of Swords, they're feeling very confused or conflicted. There's a lot of um, back and forth and mixed messages. So they're in two minds about your connection or about you. Um, or there's, I mean, there's, there's a lot of confusion going on around this person. This is a lot of mental energy. Swords is air energy. Um, so they're thinking about you a lot, they're air signs. Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Okay. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Um, this person feels like maybe things were really one-sided. They saw you as someone they could see a future with, or this love was probably, um, this connection that you had was is or was very, very important to them. King of the Pentacles, they saw themselves settling down with you. Um, it's this Taurus energy, so there's love. There's love that still exists here. So although they are showing off mixed messages or confused messages, um, there is love that has come up in the cards here. Um, okay, so we've got that Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords reversed. So... You know, they're trying to process things and they're trying to distract themselves for the time being. I feel like they're not living with the pain or they're not suffering the grief right now. Um, it could also be that they refuse to end things. They're actually still wanting to kick things off. So there's an ending, a refusal of ending things is what I'm seeing. Um, this It's so contrasting cards because you've got cards that would indicate this person is still there and, you know, is still invested. We've got the six of ones with the ace, of, um, with the king of pentacles. So they can see you guys being successful. Um, and they really feel like they love you and you're the one. Um, and then elsewhere in their mind, things are one-sided. They're not coping, um, very well, or they feel like, you know, confused about where, where you're heading. It's like, they feel so much at the same time, um, especially with the Six of Pentacles. It, it, it can be like asking for help. So I feel like this person may be going to family and friends and asking for help. Um, whether they're getting the right advice is a different story. And I feel like that could maybe confuse them even more. They might be getting advice from parents, friends, family, and they're th telling them one thing. Um, I feel like they're, they're trying to be caution, uh, like they're trying to exercise caution with their emotions. The Four of Cups has come up and in this deck, it means being given bad advice or forcing something that's not meant to be, at least not right now. So maybe their emotions are telling them that they're forcing things um, or the relationship feels more forced right as, as where things are right now, at least on an emotional level. There could also be someone giving them emotional advice saying like, be with them, you know, settle down with them or someone say on the other side going, be single, go have fun, do what you want. So there's, there's um, mixed, this, this mixed advice that they're getting. And I think that's, that's possibly making them even more confused than they are. Um, overall, I don't think they're in a, they're not in a really clear mind space. And I feel like that's why you might be seeing a real romantic side to them. You know, they might've booked a really beautiful dinner, um, they might have called you really sweet names. You might have had a very beautiful, deep conversation and bonding experience. And, you know, but I feel like there's something else they're not revealing with the high priestess can be secrecy here or intuitively they feel a different way about you than they're actually expressing. But I, I just feel like that's adding more to the confusion, to be honest. Um, because this is a kind of romance so they, they've still done things to romance you um, or they've still done very sweet and thoughtful things for you. And a part of them, albeit a small part, 
feels like the two of you could have a very successful future together. This is the Six of Wands. You know, you've got that victory card here. Um, maybe they're trying to sweep things under the rug, things that have happened with the Nine of Swords reversed, um, especially if they're like an avoidant. Uh, they've sort of swept things under the rug and, 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 you know, trying to push it away, trying to distract themselves. But I mean, that can only go on for so long until they need to face the music. So eventually they'll, they'll get to this place. Um, but as of right now, they're, they need to decide what it is that they want, because I feel like they're confused about the relationship. They have three sixes come up. Okay. Six, six, uh, sorry, two sixes that have come up. Um, and two twos. Two is a number of relationships. And then the six is a number of intuition. So they're trying to use their intuition in the relationship right now. They're going with their gut. And I think they can, uh, that's why they're getting confused. They're following their gut, but then their mind is telling them something differently. Um, something different. I also feel like they're maybe leaving things up to you a little bit. Um, they're using their intuition to be curious and be like, okay, well, are they going to message me or are they thinking about me or, you know, I I'm going to leave it to them sort of thing. Maybe they're, they're leaving it in your hands because they want you to reach out or they want you to be the one um, that makes contact maybe right now. Um, I mean, for many of you, it could be that this person has backed away, but really they want something very traditional with you. King of Pentacles can rule like tradition, like marriage and things, and, and you can see the High Priestess looks away. So I think there's someone here maybe for some of you that's planning an engagement or a marriage, or they want to invite you to move in with them. And that's why they've gone distant, because maybe on some level they want to do that. You know, they might... Um, for a lot of you, maybe you haven't been ready for that step, but it would appear that this person is. But they're like trying to reason with themselves about it. You know, the child here doesn't have a firm footing. Now, the child in this Two of Swords can also indicate maturity or they're not grown up right now. Um, what you have right now is maybe not something that they can offer you. They can't offer you anything more. Maybe that's just because they're not at that place in their life. Maybe they're younger uh, maybe they have an experienced love like you have. They want to date around. They want to get to know new people. Maybe they haven't done that. That's something that they need to do. So it's like tempting for them. In one aspect, it's like, wow, you know, I really want this relationship. I want this person. I want the closeness. But then, you know, their intuition is, is taking them into two different parts. And then they're thinking, but I want to be single or I want to be alone. Or the advice that they're getting is so... So very different. So I feel like that's further adding to the confusion. People being in their ear about things and about the connection. But I think on some level, six of ones, on some level, they, they do feel like you could be something very special. Or they have already feel like six of ones, we feel proud when we see six of ones. So... Um, there's something here that they're very proud about um, having within you as a, as a partner, as a lover. So there's pride here, which is good. Um, but drawing back to that overall energy, I still feel like the reason you're seeing mixed signals is because they're deeply confused about how they feel about you. And it's like one extreme to another. And I think eventually in time, you know, they need to sit down with their thoughts and figure out what it is that they truly want. And eventually they will make that decision. The number two has come up here. So, um, you know, very strong relationship number. So it's very likely that they're going to lean more towards having that relationship with you um, or having some sort of close connection um, with you uh, and having that together. So... You know, they're, they're fantasizing a lot. I think there might have even been a fantasy here. We've got that fish-like mermaid here. This is Pisces energy, and that can be a fantasy. Fantasy versus reality. You know, they're, they're putting these two in, in 
in perspective, I feel. I'll leave it at that though. So thank you again so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So thanks again and bye for now.